the origins of Omega Red. In the tumultuous era of the Cold War, Arkady Gregorovich Rosevich, a notorious Soviet serial killer, became an unwitting pawn in the clandestine games of the KGB. Recognizing his innate sadistic talents, the Soviet government deemed him the perfect candidate for a macabre experiment. Stripped of his identity, Rosevich was ushered into a secret facility where the ominous carbonadium synthesizer process awaited him. Within the sterile, dimly lit confines of the laboratory, Rosevich underwent the nightmarish transformation. Unearthly screams echoed as carbonadium tendrils sprouted from his wrists, intertwining with his very essence. The process left his once mortal body forever altered, marked by the grotesque, serpentine coils that would become both his weapon and curse. A deadly weapon. Omega Red's rebirth as a living weapon was marked by the emergence of his unique powers. The carbonadium coils, initially a gruesome spectacle, proved to be far more than mere aesthetic. Capable of extending considerable lengths, these tendrils were not just physical appendages, they were conduits of life-draining energy. With a chilling efficiency, Omega Red could siphon the life force from his victims, reducing them to mere husks of their former selves. Beyond his grim abilities, Omega Red's physiology had been augmented to superhuman levels. His strength surpassed the limits of ordinary mortals, and his agility and endurance rendered him a formidable adversary. However, the cost of these enhancements was etched into the very fabric of his being, a reminder of the dark bargain struck in the pursuit of power. Tangled in the web of Weapon X, as the geopolitical landscape shifted and the Cold War ebbed, Omega Red's journey intersected with the clandestine corridors of the Weapon X program. Entrusted with covert objectives and shadowy alliances, he found himself embroiled in a new chapter of intrigue and manipulation. Within the cold, sterile walls of Weapon X, Omega Red's tortured soul grappled with the echoes of his past. The tendrils that defined him were not just instruments of death, they were symbols of a tumultuous history, a reminder of the experimentation and manipulation that had shaped him into the living weapon he had become. In the web of secrecy and experimentation, Omega Red walked a path stained with the blood of his victims and haunted by the specters of his own transformation.